What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 WWE wrestling titles that never saw the light of day. This should be a good one. I'm interested to see what titles they are talking about. Um, I will say this. The older WWE titles, I was just a bigger fan of, like, growing up in an Attitude Era. Like, I just love the titles that they had back then. They just seemed more like wrestling championships, even though now they, they're, they're kind of bland. They don't have a lot of, like, I don't know. It doesn't give me championship vibes at least some of them not all of them some of them look fantastic i will still say this the uk championships in my opinion look the best on wwe like in my opinion they look the best and i i've seen that nxt has revamped their championships too and they look even better you know in my personal opinion i, I like the way they look but it's just some of the main roster ones they just they're so bland to me so but we're gonna get into this appreciate all the love and support let's check this video WWE out. history there have been a number of iconic and notable wwe title designs from the classic wing d yep, version of the wwe love title that belt. to the big gold design that was used between 2002 to 2014 as a world heavyweight title love that one too so there were also a number of wwe title designs that were made by wwe but Whoa. they were never used on television this either comes down to Vince McMahon not being a fan of the specific design or internal factors influence WWE being able to present the new title on programming. But which one? Who remembers that? Who remembers that title? I think, wasn't that the, the greatest Royal Rumble title? Whoever won it, they, I think Ron Strowman won the greatest Royal Rumble. I think that's what that title is. Even though it does look cool, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I, it actually looks better, in my opinion, than just the main WWE Championship. Even though the main WWE Championship is it's okay, it's serviceable. I just like different designs on the plates instead of just a big W. You know what I'm saying? I actually like that one. If you change the strap to black, that one will be super solid ones were they will join us now as wrestlemania looks at 10 wwe titles that never saw the light of day be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists number 10 the brahma bull belt and when Stone Cold Steve Austin introduced the Smoking Skull Belt onto mm -hmm. screens in 98, it changed the perception of custom WWE title designs. That forever. was a, a legendary Vince McMahon one. had reservations at first in relation to allowing Austin to use the title on Raw, but eventually he came around to it and the design became insanely popular. Yes, it did. The replica version of the title sold insanely well and mm -hmm. still remains a top seller on WWE Shop to this very day. Yep. Following Love the success belt. of the Smoking Skull Belt, WWE wanted to introduce the Bull. Brahma Bull Belt for mm -hmm. The Rock. In fact, this was made and ready to be used on television by The Great One, but that was until it was lost in the mail. Wow. During a 2021 interview on Entertainment Tonight, Stephanie McMahon revealed, that's what's interesting about this, is actually never seen the light of day. It's never been on television. This is really a premium, one-of-a-kind artifact, and it was created during The Rock and Steve Austin storyline. Wow. This was created lost in the mail, believe it or not. During those two weeks that it was lost, the decision was made to scrap the whole thing, and The Rock never got his own customized championship Dang, belt. I did not know that. Wow. Although the design never appeared on television, WWE did decide to make toy belts out of the design, and these were sold around the world. Interestingly, they did a similar thing for a custom Undertaker WWE title, but this one was made exclusively for the toy market rather than one that was intended to be used on screen. Mm. Number 9. A revamped version of that. the WCW titles. But just before WWE purchased WCW, there were plans in place for them. to redesign every single one of their titles. That is with the exception of the beloved Big Goldie. Yeah. This redesign would see all titles look very similar and the WCW US and television title would feature the WCW logo in the center. This way of designing belts was way ahead of its time. As one of the criticisms that WWE face currently is that most of their belts look the same and only- I just said this. Uh, this is the problem. They just look too much like the same. There's no, doesn't, the belts don't have any flair to them, you know. I, I that's why I loved 
the NXT UK championships. They look fantastic. Love those belts. Focus on the logo. If these were completed just in time for the WCW purchase, they would have been used on television, and Vince McMahon more than likely would have loved the designs. Number 8 Alternative Version of the IC Title. Now, there have been a number of versions of the IC Title. Love that version of that. I love that version of the IC Title, the one that Cody Rose had brought out, uh, brought back a few years ago with the white strap. Love that. Dude, I, I despise the new IC belt. It just looks. It just. I, you wouldn't think that's the IC championship belt. You would not think it is. I'm like, what, what, does, what does that belt represent? Looks, this shit just looks weird. Do not version like debuting it. in 2019. Do not like it. A number of years ago, an I'm alternative not a version of, of the Intercontinental title was leaked online, and there was some debate as to whether WWE wanted to use That's this blondie. design. Some fans believe that this was going to be used during the Attitude Era when WWE scrapped the classic design in favor of the oval design that was mm -hmm. used until 2011. However, the title has the Scratch WWE logo on, suggesting that they were going to introduce the design in 2003. Following the No Mercy pay-per-view in 2002, the IC title had been unified with the world title, but at the 2003 Judgment Day pay-per-view, WWE smartly brought the belt back. Now, there were rumors at the time that they were going to debut a new design for the belt, and this leaked design more than likely would have been it. Number 7. I like that Hulk leaked Hogan's design. WWE title. I do. So during Hulk Hogan's historic four-year reign as champion, he used a number <laughs> four of iconic years. WWE. <laughs> four years as champ. Will... <laughs> Will Roman get to that? Who knows? <laughs> Possibly, Title maybe. designs, but there was one design that was made for Hogan that was used one time and one time only. This was a custom version of wow. the WWE title designed specifically for him, and there is only one single image of Hogan actually wearing the title. The title looks similar to a title that would be presented in the NWA and features an image of Hogan in the center. It's a bold design, but it doesn't really look too great, and WWE made the right move yeah. not utilizing it at all. Yeah, that's Number a good six, move. Number six, custom John Cena WWE title. A John Cena is synonymous with the mm -hmm. spinner version of the title that he introduced in 2005. However, before WWE and Cena settled on... I'm not going to lie to you. When that first came out, when, what he did to the United States, I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I'm not going to lie to you. I liked it because it was the, it fit the time period. Everybody remember, like, spinning rims. Like, if you don't know what that is, the car stop, your rims keep spinning. That was a big thing around that time period. So to see, like, those those custom belts being made, like the United States spinner belt and then the WWE spinner belt, I thought it was cool. I thought it was something different. They kind of got with the times, and they kept with it for a minute. On the spinner belt, they actually designed another belt that was never used. This belt featured the WWE logo restrained by chains. Uh, the artwork for the design looks kind of cool and certainly would have suited Cena's first yeah. incarnation of his Doctor of Thugonomics character. Yeah, I see. It's likely that WWE didn't use this design as they wanted it to spin as Cena's custom US title had sold extremely well. See, I'm telling you, around that time, that was something you didn't see on the belt. So it, it was selling like crazy. And, you know, Vince is all about that bottom dollar. Them belts were selling like crazy. The spinner belts, definitely. I know some people don't like it, think it's a toy. I think it, it, it outstayed its welcome a little bit too long. But at the same time, those belts were iconic. They, they just were because of John Cena. And it made perfect business sense to use a similar design for the WWE title. Number 5, the King of the Ring title. Well, there have been rumors surrounding the King of the Ring title for years, with fans asking why WWE would make a title for a tournament winner and why they decided to make a title exclusively for Mabel. Well, it turns out they didn't. Back mm. in 1995, Mabel shockingly won the King of the Ring tournament, and following this victory, he took it upon himself to get his own custom-made King of the Ring title. Oh, wow. This actually wasn't approved by WWE, and they consequently never used it. Once Mabel was fired from the company, he began to use the title during independent shows as an extra incentive to attract bookings. Oh. Number 4, The Winged Eagle Belt Returns But when The Rock defeated CM Punk for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble in 2013, they wanted to give The Rock a brand new version yeah. of the title. The design process for this was long and hard, and WWE came up with a number of designs. 
Some of them were downright awful, mm -hmm. but there were ones which looked truly awesome. That would have been cool. Was Maybe the be winged eagle one. The winged eagle, and it would feature the eagle with its claws instead of the WWE logo. That would the be cool. The side straps would then look like bird wings, and it really looked different. It, it could have really worked on screen. Could have possibly worked. I it, like the new version of the winged eagle build. I'm, I'm okay with that. Nevertheless, WWE turned down this idea and instead introduced the new version of the WWE. Now that version of the belt. It's the best version of the just traditional WWE logo on the front. That's, in my opinion, is the best looking version because of all the diamonds and all the stuff. It, it just, it looked good. It's just now they, they, they kind of blend. I like that version of it. it. The gold all around it. I love that version of it. WWE title that was used up until 2014. Number three, the giant version of the classic WWE title. A WrestleMania 3 featured one of the biggest matches of all time as Hulk Hogan collided with Andre the Giant for the WWE title. Ahead of the match taking place, they would create a brand new version of the title. Well, it was the same design, just a completely different size. WWE believed that if Andre won the match, the current title would be far too small. Mm -hmm. So they naturally made another Jeez. version which was appropriately sized for Andre. The belt could be seen on the 16th March 1987 damn, edition of Primetime Wrestling and it looked rather impressive. But sadly, Andre would never get to hold that version of the WWE's top prize. Number 2. The Vegas Big Gold Belt a Nature Boy Ric Flair joining WWE in 1991 was a huge deal, and it was made mm -hmm. even bigger by the fact that he brought the NWA title with him. Yep. This was a rather unique storyline for WWE. I ain't gonna lie to you, I love that that title, bro. Big Goldie, that's what we people call it. I love that title. It's just, just that, oh man, love it. Love it so yes, much. Flair would claim that he was the real world champion whilst he was presented on all WWE programming with the big gold belt around his waist. But WWE and Flair encountered a major problem when WCW planned to sue Flair for using the title on television and WWE decided to take a step back from the storyline to avoid any legal penalty surfacing. But Vince McMahon wasn't just going to give up however, he smartly began to pixelate the title on television. Wow. Flair even began to use the tweet design of the tag titles which are supposed to act as the NWA title. What? Vince also ordered a new belt to be made that was titled the Vegas Big Gold Belt. It featured the nameplate removed and subtle changes being made so it wasn't an exact replica. Mm. It was believed that the final design looked far too similar to the Big Gold title and the design was ultimately scrapped. And number one, the Rated R Belt. Oh. The WWE wanted to take the feud between Edge and John Cena one step further in 2006. Which they did. The WWE wanted Edge to introduce his own custom WWE title and put an end to Cena's spinner belt. Mm -hmm. Edge was excited by this prospect and he even got to work making his own mock-up of what he believed the design should look like. Edge eventually presented these ideas to Vince McMahon and Creative, and it's safe to say they hated the design. Damn. And in all fairness to Vince and WWE, it didn't look great. And yeah. it didn't look like a real WWE title design. Yeah. WWE instead decided to change the center and side yep. plates of the spinner belt for ours representing the rated R superstar. Although this was seen as lazy by some, it was a smart move and WWE could have easily transitioned back to Cena's version of the title once Edge had lost the belt. I mean, that's kind of where they were taking it direction. Like, I didn't, I, I had no problem with his rated R belt, but granted, his design definitely wouldn't, it did not look good. But I, I actually enjoyed them changing it to the rated R superstar. It really led you, it, it made you believe, okay, we're in a new era now. Edge is that mother, you know what? And he is taking over. So, but like I said at the beginning of this video, man, I just, the older belts, I definitely preferred in like an attitude era or whatnot, ruthless aggression era. And um, it's just the newer belts on the main roster. It's, it, they're not that inspiring. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Some of them are. Some of them are cool. Some of them do their job. You know, they're serviceable, but. I just feel like they should be, they should be, you know what I'm saying? When you have these belts, people's like, damn, I want that. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like that. I feel like more people want the old school belts and some of the other belts rather than what we have on the main roster. But comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite WWE wrestling belt, man. Let me know. Or I'm even make this even like uh, a broader selection. What's your favorite wrestling belt? Not just WWE. What's your favorite wrestling belt? I will say this. AEW, 
they have the better looking belts. I'm so glad still that the women's belt looked better. And the men's championship belt, the men's AEW championship belt is gorgeous. AEW, they killing it on the belt designs. So let me know, what's your favorite wrestling belt in any company? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.